What is up, YouTubers, Mana Tappers, Magic players in general? There's some Brawl changes announced last week. We're going to go through them because actually, funnily enough, I was in the middle of making a video about how Wizards needs to release a ban list, and then boom, they come out with a list anyway. So let's just review the changes, see what we like and don't like. Let's get into it. Wizards announced not only a ban list, but started off the article with five points about just where their head is, what their mindset is when making these changes. The first point is that there's two audiences, multiplayer and one-on-one -on -one players, and just generally speaking, when they're looking to change the format, they're going to side or lean towards favoring the multiplayer format because they want Brawl to be seen as a fun, super casual format, thus multiplayer gets the tie-breaking vote. The second point was people don't like the current standard rotating format. Wizards essentially said, nope, the definition of brawl is brawl, current standard rotation. And also I think we can take a step back and see Wizards trying to then support or have any type of official stance that says, yeah, you can play brawl for any standard rotation, here's how, and just the obnoxious amounts of acronyms or initialisms or identifiers that would have to go on decks to say, oh, this is a blah, 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 brawl, legal deck. No. Oh, or, oh wait, or they could do this whole, hey, just, uh, just wanted to let you know, judges, we've introduced this, you know, super casual light format called brawl, and here is just our really, you know, really simple, nice, just light reading of the deck lists and the the metas for each standard format and the ban lists and just some things to keep an eye out for. You know, super light reading, just throw it in your back pocket, read it whenever you have a minute, and we'll meet, we'll make changes to this every, you know, two, three weeks, no big deal. Anyway, and number three is Brawl will continue to rotate with standard. There was also some viewpoints that what if it just started with the current standard format and then expanded out indefinitely into the future? The problem with that is it just becomes Commander Light or a weird variation of Commander Light with this ever-growing number of card pools with a seemingly arbitrary start point, and it, it just kind of loses whatever purpose I think Wizards is going for with keeping standard cards more playable into the future. Number four, Brawl is meant to be a fun format and they want to protect what makes it fun, which includes the Singleton format. It's keeping it accessible to new players so that it's fun and competitive if you've only ever done you know, pre-releases or a couple drafts or just have a smaller collection and focusing around being able to build around that fun commander, whether it is a planeswalker or a legendary creature, those are the core components of the game that they want to maintain. The fifth and final point was Wizards needs to and will continue to support Brawl in future sets, meaning R&D will have to pay mind and keep an eye on, ensuring each set gives a balanced approach to what commanders are available, that there's multiple colors that also have options, that they have options for each color combination. Seems straightforward enough. All of that is good to hear. Now let's just get into the changes of what is actually changing in the format. Well, the first would be colorless commanders. They are now playable. Even though land are colorless permanents, the rule was you cannot have cards that have effects or costs outside your commander's colors. You also couldn't have lands that produced mana outside your commander's colors. So if you want to play Karn, you couldn't, and you might as well... Not too bad. Now the rules allow for you to play a colorless commander with one type of basic land, meaning you could play a Karn deck and have 24 mountains and be good to go. However, you cannot include red cards in that deck. They still have to follow the commander rule. You also couldn't split it up to give him mountains and islands and plains. You have to pick one basic land and you run with that. The second big announcement is Brawl now has its own separate ban and unbanned list. So it is not tied to standard constructed anymore. Here's the list of cards that have now been unbanned from the current standard rotation that they were following. And basically Wizards point of view of all these cards were, yeah, they hurt in constructed or were tough to play around in constructed, but in singleton formats, they're either not as good or they're easier to answer. Some can't be comboed or co not comboed as easily. So they're, they're just not as much of an issue. Now to the banned cards, they left Smuggler's Copter banned, which we'll get into in a second. But no surprise here, Baral is also banned. Why? Because he turns the format into, turns it into this. All right, I'll, I'll play Saperly Migration Unkicked. Um, actually that doesn't resolve. I'm going to play Negate, draw a card. Okay, well, uh, okay, I'll play my Commander Slimefoot. Mm, Syncopate, draw a card. Okay, do you want to play with different decks, maybe? 
I just so happen to have a bounce spell for that question. And then you want to ask it again, don't you? I'm just going to disallow that. Draw two cards. Yep, never playing this again. You won the game and you won the ability to walk home, so... And that's pretty much what Wizards wants to avoid. I don't blame them, especially with everything they've said about fun coming first. Clearly, Brawl takes some of that away. And, and playing blue isn't bad, but Brawl just makes it borderline insufferable. Why? Uh, my personal opinion is Brawl. Brawl versus Brawl, nine times out of ten, just bored me to tears. And usually you're watching not because you're trying to see what clever line of play or awesome strategy someone's come up with. You're just waiting to see who doesn't top deck the next counter spell as well as the other person. I'm, I'm more in like the hooray, well fought, can this event just be over so we can ban this card and actually have some fun. Point is, Brawl is gone. Hopefully we can all agree that's a good move for the format. The other ban, surprisingly or unsurprisingly, if you've played against it, is Sorceress Spyglass, which you might think, wait, why is this an issue? But you can metagame fairly easily, play that card early on, and then just brick their commander especially if it's a Planeswalker or a commander that's reliant or you're relying on their abilities, they now don't get those abilities. So you either have to have artifact removal or the game is essentially a lot less enjoyable for you to play. The reason Sorcerer's Spyglass is banned is the same vein or the same thought as why Smuggler's Copter is staying banned. And I, I agree on that philosophy. So good on you for getting those cards out of here. Just having two or three cards that everyone's going to play no matter what and then you often win because you get it out first and your or your opponent doesn't come up with their removal for it. That's not fun to me. So move on from that. Awesome. Now we move into the most controversial part of this article, which is moving the starting life total for one-on-one -on -one play, one versus one, from 30 life to 20 life. Wizards logic, their argument here is what we've seen thus far. I'm paraphrasing here, but what they've seen thus far is people use the early game to just draw cards, sift their library, and then win in the mid to late game. And that there's too much of a cushion for aggro decks to really punish that strategy. I, I agree with the approach that they've looked at data and match data and tried to follow what the meta is, but I don't agree that they've got enough data to make that call. Because changing life totals, I mean, that's a pretty big deal. It's going to influence deck building and theory crafting, and, and it, it just feels hasty to me. It feels inconsistent with everything else discussed. If this article stopped prior to this point, I'd say, great. Well done, perfect, let's keep incrementally improving the game after seeing the pros and cons to these decisions. Because these are still big decisions. Even if they're obvious, they're big decisions. I mean, come on, the format has been dominated by Baral. He's just, he's too efficient as a commander. He's able to take advantage of this cushion of the life total being a little bit higher. And fun is not the primary focus, so people want to capitalize on any advantage available. But that, that advantage, I think, is most prevalent with Baral. With him out of the picture, it, it seems hasty to say, now we also need to drop the life totals. I would just say right now, it feels like a step too far, or at least, at the very least, too soon. Because you, you can't say you had enough data when you don't even wait to see how we're moving the biggest problem, changing the banning, the unbanning cards that are allowed to be played, allowing colorless commanders to be played. Why not wait to see how those affect the format first before making this decision? Dominaria hasn't even got a chance to shine. That's why it just feels feels way too quick. Like, I think I think their narrative should have been more along the lines of, like, saying, we at Wizards, we saw what Brawl was doing to the format, so we made this big change, and we've now got different ban lists for the formats that use the standard rotation. We want it to be a fun and casual format first and foremost, but do not worry, we will continue to host competitive events, we will monitor the meta changes, and we'll see the overall pros and cons to these decisions before making any other changes. Happy playing. Then, then they could have waited two or three months and make another announcement, something along the lines of, we at Wizards, after further consideration and allowing the player base to adjust our changes, we see that the starting life total being at 30 just makes aggro strategies too underpowered. It forces the meta into a stale or mono-themed state. We want this format to have multiple strategies to reward creativity, for creativity to remain competitive. Thus, we're changing the starting life total to 20 for one-on-one -on -one play only. To me, that would make more sense. Incremental change, this is what we're doing, makes sense, great. Hey, we need to go one step further now that we've seen some actual data around our changes. Going with that. Instead, it was, nope, hey, Baral ruined everything, so we're gonna change everything, kind of awesome. What I then found funny too was they followed it up with this, we will be making changes more often, so keep an eye out for those. 
And it's like, if you're going to make more changes, why not just take a step back and let those changes play out, see what happens before you just start jumping ahead to the next possible solution. Regardless, Brawl is still a phenomenal idea. I think it's amazing that Wizards is giving people more playability to their standard rotation cards that don't cut it for constructed. I've had fun every time I've played Brawl. I've really enjoyed the format. I continue to look forward to different deck ideas and theory crafting, just what would be fun, what would be competitive, coming up with ideas that you normally just don't get to do in constructed play. So. Even though I don't agree with the last change, still two thumbs up for the changes for Brawl in general, just awesome job. But that's it for the video. I'm excited to see where the format goes. I'm excited to see how the meta changes from here without Brawl ruining everything. I just wanna make one last point. If you're on that commander purist train, please try and see how Brawl really is helpful, especially to newer players. It serves as a great bridge into your favorite format. This isn't meant to overtake Commander in any way, shape, or form. I don't think anyone sees it as a replacement for Commander. Brawl's your little brother, and you should want to help your little brother out because they're kind of getting picked on a lot and they're getting beat up, and you want to help protect them so that when they grow up and they're big and strong and they can do all the things you can do, they can now transfer into Commander relatively easily. And if people enjoy Brawl, they enjoy the Singleton format, Commander is the next logical step. So if it's good for the community, it lifts everyone up. Plus, it has Slimefoot in it, so I don't know how you don't enjoy playing with Slimefoot. That, that seems silly. Also, side note, these changes for Brawl don't actually go into effect for MTGO or Magic Online until May 30th. So just keep an eye out for that. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you'd like or comment or subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. It helps keep me motivated. Just helps me know that you're enjoying the videos and I'm gonna keep making them. We're gonna keep having fun. The community's gonna grow. It'd be awesome. Really would mean a lot. But thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Mm. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're okay. <laughs>